iOS 14.5 it's out and everybody's uh, freaking out about what's going to happen with Facebook ads in general and um, Facebook retargeting and stuff and I have a, a lot of people asking um, if conversion API Facebook conversion API will be the solution to this major uh, change with Apple um, well I will not uh, explain everything about the new um, iOS 14.5 because I think you already know about it and you completely understand what this is about. The basic stuff, the users will see a message on their uh, app asking for permission for the app to um, use their private data. Well, but exactly what is going to happen if they say yes and if they say no, if they say yes, everything will work um, as it does right now. So no changes. But if they say no, let's see um, Apple's own uh, terms of use and uh, what what does it mean legally? Well, uh, this part, this is the, their uh, privacy and data use for App Store. And this is the very last thing that's uh, going to happen. Um, to access the value of the IDFA for users on uh, this kind of uh, systems, you will first need to receive permission from the user through the app tracking transparency prompt. The app tracking transparency prompt is that um, pop-up asking you to, to say yes or no. Uh, so the thing is, if a user says no, the app will not be able to use the IDFA. Now, what is this IDFA? If you Google it, you will find out that it's uh, an identifier for advertiser, a random device identifier assigned by Apple to users' devices. Basically, it helps um, um, an app to identify the users and uh, to deliver customized advertising. So, uh, this is essentially what will not work anymore. If we uh, stop here, it means that conversion API might, 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 might be the solution for Facebook, but it doesn't stop here. Because if we go back to the App Store's privacy uh, page, we have this as well. If I have not received permission from a user via tracking permission prompt, can I use an identifier other than IDFA, for example, hashed email address or hashed phone to track user data? So this is exactly about uh, things like conversion API. And the answer is no. You will need to receive users permission through app trans tracking transparency framework to track that user. So. Uh, Apple says no you cannot track the users with other uh, tracking uh, systems and look let's see what's conversion API and what it does conversion API it's a, a, a way a website or an app can send data about the user directly through Facebook server so technically Conversion API will probably be able to uh, replace this one, the IDFA. But this is covered by another point in there in Apple's uh, terms of use, privacy and use data. So why technically it will be possible for uh, Facebook to still get information about users doing stuff on internet using conversion API and to understand who that person is and to target them with uh, personalized ads and so on in effect they are bound they are uh, blocked by uh, the terms of use of the App Store so if they want to uh, follow App Store's rules they must somehow stop tracking or stop using because they continue to track stop using that personal information that can identify a user so i'm not seeing conversion api as the solution for for uh, ios 14.5 update 
it's a technical solution yes but the the, the legal part the the i'm not sure is le legal is the right word but the the terms of use that facebook must follow will still be a problem uh, and let's see what facebook says about the consequences of this uh change and this is their email it's a very long email and uh, they ex uh, tell us what to expect it's a long it's a lot of stuff for uh, app developers because it will have a major impact on apps but also on a web and uh, people using uh, things like facebook pixel or facebook conversion api on websites uh, i won't read everything but a few things that will change um, are related to how ads reporting work when they click through opt-out data will be modeled for um, people that opted out on iOS 14.5 so they will report it but somehow they will try to guess what's happening model that, that's what I understand seven day click through and why they one they view through attribution settings will no longer include iOS 14 opted out users hmm. so that that's that's major you know action and demographic breakdowns will be deprecated for off-site events uh, attribution settings will default change to seven day click through for newly created assets and web events campaigns so everything will be used you will use the seven day click through no uh, view through so uh, if you just view an ad you don't click on it and still um, perform the desired action on a website that was a view through uh, conversion you view the ad you don't click on it but you do the desired option and facebook said well we helped uh, you with um, that conversion so that's that that will count uh, a click through it's you see an ad uh, you click on it and then you do the desired action on a website um, in that window the seven days so that's that's um this the only way conversion will be reported from now on seven days after click if it's uh just a view of an ad it will not count and if it's a uh an action that took place after seven days again it will not count a hundred percent aggregated events measurement rollout to campaigns using web events and this is this is actually the key here because from now on you'll be able to optimize for events only if you have them configured under aggregated event measurement uh, you probably have to uh, verify your domain and then you'll be able to set up events facebook is automatically adding events there if you already have ads for a domain but otherwise you need to do to uh, manually add events under aggregated events measurement and uh, this is this is actually the technical solution that facebook has for the ios 14.5 update not the conversion api at least that's what they say and uh is definitely something you have to do so uh yeah this will have an impact of, on your ads and the key thing the key thing here audience size might decrease um as more people opt out on iOS 14 devices, users will automatically be excluded from certain targetable audiences, which may result in decreasing of audience sizes. The word certain uh, is not all. What it means, you know, I, I don't have an answer here, but it's possible that, uh, look, there are many entry points into an audience if i enter an audience on a mobile device using ios 14.5 and i then say no they will probably exclude me but i can also enter an audience uh, by using something else by using a desktop computer where i don't have these uh, limitations uh, or facebook doesn't have these limitations so in, the, in this case, I will probably still be part of that custom audience. So <clears throat> I'm not sure how it will work. Uh, because 
if, even if I use um, an iOS 14.5 device, I say no, but Facebook knows who I am. They might exclude me for iOS 14 devices, but if I go and uh, visit something or see um, Facebook on a desktop computer without um, these limitations, I might still be part of that audience because uh, Facebook has the ability to tell who I am and to identify me using Conversion API and then to use that data outside um, Apple devices and not use it on Apple devices. So it's a mix. I don't, I don't have an answer. Uh, but what I think, Conversion API is not exactly the fix for iOS 14.5. I know a lot of marketers or services are now promoting this heavily and I see that this, I, I, I was targeted by ads, uh, selling this as a miracle solution. It might be part of a solution, but it's not the fix, it's not the solution. Uh, it will probably help in a way, but not with bypassing the limitation that, fa that Facebook has on on the on the Facebook app on Apple uh, devices on an iPhone for example like this one no I don't think they will uh, somehow cheat uh, Apple's rules and say okay we will not use the IDFA but we will use our conversion API data and we will still serve um, uh, uh, targeted ads as before but if there is a mixed and the user moves from a, uh, an iOS 14.5 device to something else that's not um, Apple. In this case, they might use the data because they have it. They know what you did on the app in theory, and they might use it externally, but not on Apple, not on, on an iPhone. So this might be a sort of a hybrid solution, a sort of hybrid mix. But otherwise, I think the terms of um, apples are pretty clear. You, 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 this is the question right here, this one. If you don't have permission, you cannot use alternative ways to uh, identify a user on an Apple device. Conversion API is an alternative way but they say you should not use it. Now, what do you think? What do you think uh, Facebook will do? They have the technical um, capacity to still track some users using conversion API, but they should not do it if they want to follow um, Apple's uh, terms of use, App Store's terms of use. What do you think Facebook will do? What would you do? I really want to know your answer, so comment uh, here and uh, tell me what you think. What do you think Facebook will do? Will they use Conversion API to bypass Apple's uh, iOS 14.5 limitations or will they strictly follow them and simply don't track uh, users that opted out on Apple devices?